Two Painting Delta One Zero Miniatures for Beginners, SAS Edition. So today you can see this miniature has been primed. I've primed him in Vallejo Gray Primer, and that's really important and different from the black primer we used last time. He's also sitting on a resin scenic base, which is going to save us a bit of time later on with basing. And I'm using my trusty Citadel painting handle to make life easy for myself. The first thing we're going to do is give the model a coat of Citadel Color Contrast, the Black Templar Contrast Paint. Now this paint is going to be the savior for us. The SAS miniatures uh, wear all black. Uh, well, that's how I'm painting them. And using the contrast paint in the black, you can see already just from these first uh, initial strokes on the coat that we're getting a really, really interesting coverage where it's running into the recesses and um, the gray primer underneath is coming through to give us that contrast of color. This allows us to, in one simple coat, get a really rich, deep color on the miniature. It is really important, however, that when you are using contrast paint, that you are applying the paint evenly so it doesn't get all splotchy and gloopy. Let that dry, and then we can come back for a second coat on the darker areas of the model, the gun, the helmet, the webbing, the knee pads, that sort of stuff. It's very important that you let the first coat dry, otherwise you're just going to start adding more wet paint over the top, and it's just going to turn into a bit of a blotchy mess. But let it dry, and then pick over the darker areas, and you're going to get an even richer, darker color with the second coat there. You can go and back and do a third coat if you really want it to have more of a matte finish, but I think two coats is fine for the application we're using here. There's no real finesse to this. Just make sure that you're moving the paint evenly across the miniature in the areas you want it to cover. And uh, try not to get too much on any one point. You can see that all we really need to do is, because it's uh, quite viscous, the liquid, um, it sits nicely, but it also means we can push it round into areas. And if there's a spot that's a bit, uh, bit wet like this, we can just sort of tidy it up and move that paint across to more suitable areas. But that's it. This is really the technique uh, for painting the SAS miniatures. And we could leave it at this if we really wanted to. But there's a few little tricks I'll show you to uh, get some highlight and some color popping on the miniature. Just make sure that the whole miniature is nicely coated with that black contrast paint before we go any further. And let it dry is a big two. After we've done that, we can start putting um, some paint on the base. I'm just using London Grey. Once this is dry, we'll give it a wash with some uh, brown ink to add some depth to it. Now at this stage, all we want to do is draw five or paint five lines on the miniatures. And uh, sorry about the lack of focus here. This is not my day job. The first line is a red line running down the middle of the cartridges on his chest rig. And then we want two lines in brass either side of that to be the edges of the shells. You can see that when it comes up, it gives it a real sort of pop of color against the black of the rest of his uh, his kit. The next thing we want to do is paint the goggles. Now you can use any um, appropriate color here. I've gone with orange, but you might want to use green or blue, but it's really just one line across the goggles there, just with some thin paint on the end of our brush to give that real spot of color uh, across his face. And again, apologies about the lack of focus. This is um, a little bit embarrassing. But there we go. The final line that we need to draw is just a highlight in off-white. I've gone here, but you could use the London Grey that you've used on the base or the primer. Whatever it is, just to really put some contrast across the top of the goggles. And um, that'll really make them pop and stand out. As you can see there, it's just a simple line, tip of your brush, thin paint. That's it. As I mentioned earlier, we can just give the base a wash with some uh, brown ink, or in this case, it is Agrax Earthshade from Citadel. We can give a little bit of ink around the uh, colored areas just to put some definition in along some of the texture along the model. But that's really all we need to do. Just finish off that base with a little tuft of grass. Again, nice contrasting yellowy green. And I'm calling that done. So that was probably about 10 minutes of painting time and 10 minutes of drying time between the coats. And we have a really 
handily painted SAS miniature there. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. Uh, when you finish painting your miniatures, we'd love to see photos of them on our social media, Facebook and Instagram in particular. If you have any questions, jump online and uh, let us know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.